women. Turner Classic Movies presents a Dracula double feature and select cinemas nationwide October 25th and 28th only. For two days, see Bela Lugosi as the legendary creature of the night in 1931's Dracula. Then, stay for the cult classic Spanish language version with a specially produced introduction by TCM's Ben Mankiewicz. Both versions of Dracula are available now on one Blu-ray from Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. TCM presents a Dracula double feature. Tickets on sale now at fathomevents.com. Hey everybody, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Susan Hayward is our star of the month, and we're closing out our Hayward tribute with a selection of movies from the waning days of her career. The 40s and 50s saw Hayward's rise to stardom as an uncompromising firebrand who'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any leading man in the business. But by the time the 60s rolled around, she had just started a new marriage and her studio work was becoming more infrequent. But as the number of roles diminished, she always remained up to the challenge as an actress, always unwilling to back down. We're kicking off our night of late era Hayward films with a sex comedy from 1961. It's from 20th Century Fox, the TCM premiere of The Marriage Go Round. The story originated as a play, a popular one, about an academic couple whose marriage is thrown into disarray by a blonde bombshell who wants the husband to father her child, and she won't take no for an answer. The stage version starred Charles Boyer and Claudette Colbert as the married couple and Julie Newmar as the younger woman. The play was a big success, playing over 700 shows and winning Julie Newmar a Tony as featured dramatic actress. The film version was a totally different story. Newmar reprised her role from the stage, but this time James Mason and Susan Hayward played the endangered married couple. The movie was a box office disaster. Critics weren't quite able to pinpoint what went wrong during the transition from Broadway to Hollywood, but by all accounts, something was definitely missing. Whatever it was, it certainly had nothing to do with Hayward, who gives it her all as a wife in her mid-40s, worried the man of her dreams might be slipping away. From 1961, here's the TCM premiere of the marriage go-round. 